Look at these great pictures. Would you believe me if I told you that these pictures were taken with a tiny camera phone? I know what you're thinking, but it is possible to take really good quality pictures with your camera phone. You just need to know a few little tricks. Coming up, I'll reveal some of the secrets you need to know to take great looking photographs on your camera phone by simply taking advantage of all of its capabilities. And you'll learn how easy it is to share them with your friends, either electronically or by printing them out. Say goodbye to those grainy, fuzzy camera phone pictures and learn how to be a camera phone connoisseur right now on The Whole Picture. Welcome to The Whole Picture. I'm Erin Manning. You know, how many times have you been somewhere and said, if only I had a camera? Well, you're not alone. A lot of people have been in the same situation. That's why these camera phones seem so attractive. You have your camera phone with you and you can always take a picture, right? Oh, but when you look at the quality of the picture, it may not seem so attractive. It might have some noise in it, which is similar to film grain, or maybe the color is muddy, or it's soft and out of focus. So it's really not worth sharing with anyone unless you're sending it to their camera phone. But that always doesn't have to be the case. Let me show you some pictures I took with my camera phone. First off, I only printed these up to five by seven because with camera phones, you just don't have the resolution to print them much larger. Now here's a picture I took of a friend of mine in my studio. We've got a few things going on around them, but the main thing is I was able to get his entire face in here. So if I were to send it off to someone else with a camera phone, they could see it on their screen. Here's a picture of another friend of mine. Great expression on his face, and I was able to get some more color in there because I had some nice light. And then my favorite picture is of Maddie, and I got in really close to her, captured a great expression, and was also able to get good color in there because I had a lot of natural light coming in. Now I'll show you some pictures a student of mine sent me, Megan Henley. And as you can see, she's having some of the same problems with her pictures that I just mentioned. This one's out of focus, a little soft, and the colors are muddy. And on this one, well, she took it from so far away, I'm just not really sure where we are. I think it's the ocean, I'm not sure. The color is off and it definitely is out of focus and a little soft. I'm gonna head downtown and show Megan how to take great pictures with her camera phone. Now she told me she wanted to go shopping because she was redecorating her living room and I thought this would be a perfect time to practice taking pictures with her camera phone. Now the first thing you'll learn today is how to take your camera phone out of the automatic mode and some other good basics for taking pictures. You'll also learn how to compose your shot for the best possible photograph. Next, I'll show you how to send all these pictures out to your friends and family on your camera phone. And then finally, we'll come back here to my studio and I'll show you how to enhance the pictures, make them look even better. Now, before we get started, I need to mention that all the things I'm going over today are pretty basic and they're going to vary between mobile phone and mobile phone and between wireless carriers. So it might be a good time to go hunt down that manual for your camera phone. And you also want to know what the storage capability is on your camera phone. A lot of camera phones have limited storage capacity, but what the mobile phone manufacturers have done to remedy this is they've added the capability of you adding in a storage card to increase your capacity. You can just add it in right there. Now, these storage cards are pretty small. They're similar to the storage cards that you'll use in your digital camera, Here's the one for your digital camera. Here's the one for your camera phone. It's really tiny and really fragile. In fact, I'm gonna put it in my hand so you can see just how tiny it really is. So you wanna make sure you handle these as little as possible. In fact, if you do have to take it out of your camera phone, just make sure it's turned off. Because if you don't turn off your camera phone and you try to take this out, you could damage the phone, you could damage the card, and you could also lose all your pictures. Not good. Okay, while I head out to meet Megan, take a look at some of the other camera phone pictures I took using some of the same techniques you'll learn today. Did you ever think that automatic could make things more difficult? I'll show you why taking control of your camera phone can only make capturing good pictures easier. And you'll learn why careful composition will make your pictures even better. That's next on The Whole Picture.